Hi, welcome to Architect Interview Questions from Knowledge Powerhouse. Our question is, what do you mean by language agnostic? Language agnostic is a term a lot of people use. You might have heard from some of the architects, some of the senior leadership, principal engineers. Let's explore what it is. Language agnostic is also known by other names like language independent, language neutral, or cross language. So in programming language, uh, we have like many languages when we try to solve certain problems, like we have Java, Python, PHP, COBOL. So over the time, we have many different languages that have evolved. And uh, now we are trying to use these languages to solve certain problems. But there are times when we to solve a problem, the language is not important. That is the time we say it's a language agnostic. Let's go a little bit deep into the history. So what does it mean? The agnostic word is derived from a Greek word. It means don't know. Don't know means that if you are solving something, then your solution doesn't know which language it is going to use. Or if you're proposing an algorithm, your algorithm doesn't know what language it is going to use. Like binary search, it can be same in like Java, it can be same in C, it can be like same algorithm can be implemented in multiple languages. So what are the things that we often see as language agnostics? There are algorithms that are language agnostic. That's the example I showed you. The data structures, like you have stack, queues, priority queues, trees, they are language agnostic. They can exist in any language. Another thing that is language agnostic is agile. So in your scrum methodology, the way you do your scrum meetings, the way you do agile practices, these are language agnostic. And in recent times, if you see cloud computing, where we have cloud offerings from AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud, they are also language agnostic. They support multiple platforms, multiple languages. That way, it's easier to move and easier to solve in any language in these cloud computing offerings. So what is a language independent solution? So language independent solution is that, let's say we are trying to solve a problem or we are trying to create an infrastructure or we are trying to create an architecture. Then we need to remember that the language may change. The underlying technologies may change. So we need to divide our work, create the modules in such a way, create the information flow in such a way that it is language agnostic. It's independent of the language. That makes our solution more durable and less susceptible to the changes. Let's say if you created something dependent on Java and the version changes, you have to again take care of it, right? Whereas if you solve it in an agnostic way, then because of the version change, only specific parts will be impacted, not the whole life of your solution. Now, what else is agnostic? So it's not only language agnostic, there are things like platform agnostic. So if you're using different kinds of platforms like Google Cloud or Azure, I mean, your solution should be platform agnostic. OS agnostic, this is like, you know, Linux versus uh, Mac versus Windows. So you can have operating system agnostic solution. And then technology agnostic. Technology agnostic is like, if you're using object oriented or you're using like functional programming or you're going for big data, so that kind of a way also we create a technology agnostic solution. So this term has a lot of uh, usage in industry. I would say start using it in your vocabulary and not only using it, but start thinking also in these terms. Thank you and subscribe to our channel for more such questions.